Hey everybody, it's Sal here again with another video. Today, as you can see, we're going to be uh, we're going to be exploring a little bit of portable apps. Now, if no one's heard of portable apps, it's really cool. Um, I use it at work where the PCs are locked down. You can't install anything. Um, we have an old version of Internet Explorer 6 running at uh, you know at where 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 I work, and uh, I'd like to use you know something more recent uh, like Firefox or Google Chrome. Or I always use Google Google Chrome. So what this portable apps lets you do is actually run applications off your USB drive. Um, now this is good with the USB flash drives, USB hard drives, iPods that can be uh, that can be detected as a uh, as a hard drive as a memory uh, flash drive, uh, and it's free and uh, it's very very convenient. So. We're going to do an installation right now. I have my uh, iOmega portable hard drive uh, plugged in. It is hard drive J. So you're going to go to portableapps.com and um, it's very, it's always updated here. Um, lists uh, applications that are available. Now there's games, applications, all kinds of stuff that uh, that you can find here. See uh, here on the right hand side, games, graphics, GIMP is available as a portable app, internet applications, uh, Chrome, Firefox, you, you know it's really good. Even editing software, music and video, playback, burning software for a CD. Um, I think it, this is really great. So what you're gonna do is there's uh, three different um, sizes you can download. There's like a super, super edition that has uh, ev like um, everything, including the uh, office package, um, or you can go for the lightest version, which probably just has a browser and a couple applications. So um, we are going to um, download uh, this this one here. There's Portable App Suite. Uh, just click the link here. Now, here are the three flavors. Just the platform, um, no applications. Then we have the Sweet Light, which has uh, a few applications, uh, browsers, uh, messaging, a couple games, notepad, stuff like that. And then there's the standard suite, which also includes everything listed in the Sweet Light, but also Open Office Portable, which is your uh, your office suite. Uh, there's a spreadsheets, word processor. Um, I'm, I'm assuming PowerPoint presentations, a data database utility, and also a drawing tool. So um, this is uh, this is what you got here. So we're going to go for the uh, this the light suite version. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I'm it's allergy season. And looks like I got quite a battle ahead of me. So we're going to download this to the desktop. Okay, and now the download is completed. So we're going to minimize, or we we can just do this. We can just open it directly from our Chrome browser. Now here it's going to ask us, uh, do you want to run it? You're going to click yes. Here's the whole uh, you know whole installation thing, the license agreement. You're going to click yes. Now the destination folder. You're going to browse. And you are going to select your shared your uh, you your uh, the portable memory device. Okay, this in this case here is my iOmega hard drive. And you're just going to click OK. Now this will also work for PSP people. Uh, when you plug in your PSP PSP Go, it's detected as a uh, as a storage device. So you can use that as well. I use it on my PSP Go um, as well. Then we click install, and there it goes. All right, so the download is complete. Now we're given the option to launch the platform right away, so we will uh, we'll do that. And this is what it looks like. Uh, whenever you plug it in, a pop-up will appear, uh, and you have your list of applications. It's just like your uh, your Windows Start button <laughs> in a way, right? It's the same thing. You're gonna you're actually gonna find a little see this logo here, Portable Apps logo. You click it, and your window pops up, and then you can launch whatever you want here. We're going to launch Firefox, and this runs right off the USB drive, so you're not installing anything on your computer. It's all running off the USB drive.
And there you have it. And that's the usual MSN jive that they always pop up. So there you go. Um, if you'd like to know more about this application, just go to portableapps.com, explore what they got. Uh, for those that, uh, you know, like to use their own software at work, um, maybe you'll find a portable version of your favorite software. And uh, you can uh, just load it up on your USB memory device and uh, just start uh, just start going. There's even games on here too that you can uh, you can fool around with. Um, but it's really it's really handy. Uh, I use it every day. I I actually have it installed on, on a network drive at work. So wherever I log in at work, my network drive obviously uh, I'd link up to that. And I have portable apps installed on the network drive. So it's pretty handy that I don't even have to plug anything in. I just log into my computer or any computer at the, my organization and portable apps uh, will be there. Now, um, now if uh, it doesn't, if portable apps does not launch, um, really all you have to do is just open up the drive into, you know, you go to my computer, open up the iOmega or whatever your folder is, and it's right here. It's start portable apps dot, uh, exe you just click that and it will launch the when you menu um, now I already have it launched so it's probably it may give me it may give me two instances of it or may not do nothing at all but but that's it uh, portable apps guys I hope uh, I hope you found this uh, tutorial very uh, useful I know uh, this tool is something that uh, I'm very ha very happy uh, that I found and I just want to share it with you guys so if you enjoyed this video please thumbs up uh, favorite uh, share it with your friends, leave a nice little comment, and uh, we'll see you next time on the next video. Ciao for now.